Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison video on Ninja's brand new coffee makers. They just released both these coffee makers September 2021. The one on the left is a little fancier. It's the model number CFP301 and this is the CFP201. So they both are called du dual brew coffee makers except this one's called the dual, Pro dual brew pro. This is just the dual brew. I've got detailed videos on both of these. So you're gonna notice right away there's a lot of similarities between these two. These things are very similar. This one's $30 more than this one. So even the boxes they come in are very, very similar. We've got the word pro and just a dual brew here. So these things are so similar. The crafts are the exactly the same. They both have the same uh, K-cup brew basket. They call it a Ninja Pod Adapter. That's where the, the K-cup goes. Those are identical. The way you remove them is identical. And then where you put, this is the brew basket. And then if you wanna brew coffee is identical. So you put your filter in here and your coffee grounds. And then you just slide this forward, slide this forward. I do notice this one, yeah, it's about, this one slides forward just a little easier. They got the exact same water tanks. They got the exact same open and close. And they both do the exact same ounces, except this one has a specialty brew, which I'll talk about. But they both brew all kinds, nine, up to nine different um, brew quantities. We go over here, up to nine different brew quantities. They both do delay brew. They both do a classic, rich, and over ice. This one does classic, rich, over ice. It has an extra specialty brew. They both have a warming plate, and you can adjust the warming plate time from zero to four hours. Okay, so now let's talk about the differences. The first obvious difference, this one's like a touch screen. This one looks a lot nicer. Um, it's still got the same function, but the, this is a touch screen. So there's with it off. Here's with this one off. This one still looks very new and modern. It's just not a touch screen. These are actual buttons. But this one, yeah, this one definitely looks nice. You touch the screen and then the, the the displays light up. You know, these light up, they just look a little, not quite as nice. This is touch screen. Okay, so let's talk about specialty brew. This one will do a specialty brew, which is a four ounce coffee, which is like a really concentrated coffee. Um, some people may call it like a coffee shot. It mimics like an espresso. It's just a really concentrated coffee. And you can put it with specialty drinks like cappuccinos and lattes so that they do claim that this one will do four styles. Okay, so if we go over here on the left of this, this one's got some stuff on the left-hand side that this one does not. It's got a scoop. That's all it's got on the left-hand side. This one's got a hot water dispenser. This is a really nice feature. That's a coffee bean. So when you want to do coffee, we've got it in the coffee bean. But if we want to dispense hot water out of a separate tube, we turn that to hot water. The display changes to a hot water display. And now we can select two temperatures, boiling water or hot. We do not have that option over here. And the way that this is different, I'm gonna show you. Let's take it out. See this right here? That's where the hot water comes out. This one does not have that. So if you wanna brew some hot water, it's gonna to have to go through the filter basket, which is probably gonna pick up some coffee taste. Here they claim that there's no coffee taste because that's a separate dispenser. And that water coming out of there is really, it's 200 degrees. But when you go to hot, it's only like 170. But when you go to boil, it's 200 degrees. And you can brew it any size. So if you want a full pot of boiling water, you can get a full pot. That's a pretty nice feature. And then just turn it back to coffee. I'll show you what happens. It changes to a coffee display. Water, coffee. Again, this one does not have that. So 
some, the, some of the older ninjas had this frother. This is a pretty nice frother. It's a, we, it froths when you push it down. It doesn't heat the milk. You've got to heat the milk up separately in the microwave. This is very easy to clean. And I love how it stores away. So that's extra on this machine. That machine does not have it. So the next thing's kind of cool. The water tank, you can move the water tank around back. Take this little piece out, remove the water tank, and then you can just rotate this around to the back, reinstall the water tank, and you've got a completely different looking coffee maker. So it sticks out farther, but look, it looks completely different. The water tank on this one is not movable. It's on the right side, it has to stay on the right side. So that can really slim up the profile. In fact, it goes down to seven inches wide where this one is almost nine inches, almost 10 inches wide. Front to back changes to almost 14 inches and front to back on that one is about 12 inches. So there might be some other differences. Those are the main ones that I'm coming to. Like I said, I just did detailed reviews on both of these. They were so similar. It was, um, I really do for $30 more, this one is definitely the better option just because of that hot water dispenser and that specialty brew and the frother. And I like being able to put the tank on the back. It looks really nice that way. I'll put a link to both of these in my show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, I get a little bit of money from the click, but the products don't cost you anymore. I buy all my own product with my own money. So this is a way of supporting my channel. I really appreciate everybody's help. I'm not going to brew a coffee or anything. They brew exactly the same, the same temperatures, uh, other than that specialty brew. The over the ice was exactly the same. So I think internally, these have got the same components. So thanks again, everybody. If you could, please like and subscribe.